everyone good news to you today is a very special day it is a day that we celebrate the life of a man who leads by example a man who is led by God and is also led by the Holy Spirit of God and he also leads with love while we may tell him we love him throughout the year let's break down what we really mean shall we L is for everything we learn from your profound teachings to grow in Christ every day O is for the obligation you embrace as the prophet to Christianity, sacrificing your life on a daily basis for the spreading of the good news. O is also for your open-heartedness, which extends to joy, love, and humor for anyone in your presence. V is for the various ways you show up as a father for all God's people all over the world. V is also for your voracious approach to teaching the gospel, you're not afraid to say what the Bible says and protect the integrity of Christianity. E is for encounters, the innumerable encounters of miracles and healing which people experience because of your submission to God. So on today, Prophet, we want to wish you a happy birthday. And... So once again, happy birthday to our man of God, highly esteemed prophet Hubert Angel, the man God has given to this disposition, uh, the man who is the prophet to Christianity. Uh, so prophet, prophetess Bibi Angel also wish him a happy birthday. And uh, she joined the good news word, including Sia, uh, including uh, Liva, also joined the good news family to wish uh, the highly esteemed the prophet of God uh, to wish a happy birthday to him. I also joined the Good News family to wish a happy, very happy birthday to the man of God, highly esteemed prophet Hubert Angel. So now family, let's go and listen to our Good News prophetic daily devotion. Good news to you family, good news to you family. Welcome you to our Good News prophetic daily devotional message for today, uh, 6 September. 2024 by the prophet to christianity highly esteemed prophet hubert angel and the president of the good news word madam prophetess bb angel this is not just a prophetic word for you this message i share with you always are the messages of the hour and today's topic is the domino effect 
the domino effect and our anchor scripture is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 11 I'm using the amplified version thus you will be enriched in all things and in every way so that you can be generous and your generosity as it is administered by us will bring forth thanksgiving to God mm. misery loves company complainers thrive on the spreading negatively prosperous people however enjoy sharing their prosperity by giving towards the work of God in doing so the effect their surroundings with positivity creating a dunam, domino domino effect domino effect of gratitude God intends for you to live a generous life so that others will be blessed as you as you action as you act on as you act on the word concerning this year it is surely a year of milk and honey for you notice as you experience unprecedented financial prosperity that money is not to save for a raining day or to heap up possessions for yourself your money is yours is money with a mission mm. you are blessed to be a blessing as you prosper the impact of your giving creates a domino effect of thanksgiving to God you will be living a generous life as God created you to live then others will be blessed and thanksgiving will pour out of many mouths because of you let me take the last paragraph again you will be living as generously in life as God created you to live then others will be blessed and thanksgiving will be poured out of many mouths because of you so now let's read our prophetic declaration for today by prophet Hubert Angel I am a conduit of God's prosperity and my life is a testimony to generous living my actions are aligned with the word bringing me unprecedented financial prosperity my money carries a mission to bless others for I am a blessing to be I am blessed to be a blessing amen let me read it again I am a conduit of God's prosperity my life is a testimony to generous living my actions align with the word and bring me unprecedented financial prosperity my money carries a mission to bless others for I am blessed to be a blessing amen 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 so my family for further reading and for further studies Read 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 8 to 9, 10, and 11. In our 365 days Bible reading challenge, your scripture, my scripture, our scripture for today is taken from the prophet Ezekiel chapter 31, chapter 32, and chapter 33. Make sure you don't waste the message. If you have a good news daily and you don't post, you don't share 
with your friends and family what you're doing is that you are a waster of the message remind you you can be hiding someone's prophecy because the good news daily whilst you don't share it is a prophet in writing it's a prophet in writing so when you share it indirectly you are given you are given prophecy without you knowing that you are sharing a prophet to other people so please be a blessing to others by giving them the prophetic daily devotional share it to them share it share this message and god bless you